Hello, this is Conrad Fugas from Beam Corner. In this short video, I want to show you how you can create your own custom rule sets in Solibri. As an example, I will show you the rule for checking whether the objects within the control area have the correct control area properties. As a prerequisite, you have to have first a model of control areas. The model is made of mass objects that have a size and shape of each control area with a correct number. You can see it here. Second, a property set in your model that is connected to the control area. In my case, it is SHM underscore control area. And third, you have to have defined which control area you want to check this time. The whole logic become behind this check is as follows. We want to check if there is any object that resides inside the specific control area mass object, say 220201, and does not have this value written inside shn underscore control property. The result, the result of this check is the list of objects that are incorrectly coded or not coded at all, and lies within the control area. Now, to create such a rule, we go to the rule set manager and then to the library and we look for the general intersection rule, Solibri uh, 1 uh, dash uh, slash 5.0. We move it into our workspace in a new rule set. And then on the right side, we begin to define the um, settings. Component one is a control area mass object. So we include all objects. We, click, we add a filter to include all objects with a property value SHN control 220201. So I go to property set, look for the correct property set, SHN underscore control, OK, one off. And value 220201. Okay. And now I want to exclude any other model that is not a control area model. So I again add a new filter, click exclude any model, none of, and the name of my control area model is this one. So I click OK and OK. As a result of this filter, we are receiving a 220201 control area polygon that I've shown you at the beginning. This is this polygon. And now we check for all the objects inside it. And that's going to be a component two. So again, rule set manager, and now we go to component two. So now we want to include um, any object with a property SHN control that are not 22.0201. And this is because we don't want to check correct objects. We want this filter to give us only the incorrect object. So we click on include any and with a property, property set, process control OK, none of, and then again 22.0201. OK. And then 
we exclude uh, the model from the component one and all other models that are irrelevant for control area coding. Since in uh, BIM requirements, not every object maybe have to have has to have a control area code, so we can exclude them here. So again, we add a line, we click exclude any model one of, and then I include this one, and you but you can of course add more. And then I want to exclude all the objects or all the categories that I don't want to have the control area coding in them. In my example, it's going to be openings and furniture. So again, I click exclude. And here, components, I choose furniture. And openings. Below, we want to include intersections as uh, duplicates inside and overlapping, but it's good to set a little bit wider mark intersex intersection tolerances so that we won't receive issues from objects just barely touching the control area object. So I will set it to 300 millimeters and 300 millimeters. And that's all. We click on save button here and we can uh, upload the rule set and test if it works. Thanks for watching and if you are looking for more knowledge you can find it on beamcorner.com. See you!